everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how I did this bronzed nude look, which I think is perfect for this time of year, or if you're anything like me and you can kind of get away with fake tanning your body, but the minute you try and fake tan your face, everything goes completely wrong. I always whip out the bronzer around this time of year, so I thought it was only right to do a very bronzy look. So let's get started. I've already put my serum on and my moisturiser on, so now I just need to start on my face. I'm going to use the NARS Sheer Glow in the shade Mont Blanc, just because I flippin' love this foundation. Oh, forgot my foundation brush. I'm really loving stippling brushes at the moment, so I'm using the Real Techniques stippling brush. I'm just going to dip it in here. I really feel like NARS Sheer Glow is that one foundation I always come back to. I really love it. Now I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, which I really love. You guys know how much I love this. And I'm just putting it on any like random marks. And I'm going to pop a little bit of the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in Fair straight under my eyes and yes I put quite a lot of concealer on especially on mornings where I have woken up and I'm like did I sleep last night like what are these bags all about <laughs> and I'm also using a Real Techniques brush and this is the setting brush I have been really enjoying using this for blending concealer it takes a little bit longer than if you were to use your finger or if you were to use your foundation brush or a sponge but I really, really like it and I just feel like it's lasting better throughout the day. I'm not sure. I'll show you what I mean. The concealer is now done. I am going to use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Luminous Light. And I'm going to use the Sigma large powder brush. I've already raved about this powder quite a lot, so I'm not gonna say too much about it, but I really, really love that it makes your skin look quite glowing. And for this look, I feel like that is a necessity. So I am loving using that at the moment. I'm gonna do a little bit of contouring using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette in light to medium. And I'm gonna use this shade, which is the sort of middle, I don't know, ashy-ish brown. And I'm also using my Charlotte Tilbury Powder and Sculpt. Gonna do a little bit under me double chin. Now I am going to put a little bit of the Urban Decay um, eyeshadow potion, primer potion, <laughs> um, and just let that kind of sink in. There we go, okay, and next thing I'm gonna do is bronze. Now this is kind of the key part to this, and I feel like so many people get scared of wearing bronzer, and I know it's easy to overdo it, but I just feel like in summer, can you really overdo the bronzer? I'm using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Radiant Bronze Light. I love things like this that have like a little bit of shimmer in them. I think now is like the best time to be wearing things like this. Pretty much the rest of the year I'll wear bronzers that are kind of matte or have like the tiniest bit of shimmer, but for a bronzy look, I just think you should go all out on the bronze. I feel like the key to all bronzing is to make sure you take it down your neck as well because you don't want like a super bronzed face and then no bronzing on the neck. Because I'm keeping this look quite bronzy, I don't want to do too much um, cheek colour but I am going to put a tiny bit on. So I'm going to use the Becca Jaclyn Hill uh, Champagne champagne collection face palette in the color rose spritz which is this one and i'm literally going to put the tiniest amount on my cheeks because this is super pigmented 
and then using my Real Techniques fan brush, I always grew up throwing these things away, being like, what do people even use these for? I just found them so like confusing and I was like, what is this for? Um, but recently I've actually been using this one for highlight because I don't know, it just works really well because it gives you like a really light touch and I'm literally gonna put the smallest amount on because as you will see this highlight is insane and it's from the same face palette and it's the champagne pop it's insane face is pretty much done so the only thing we need to do now is the eyes and the eyebrows and the lips so eyes I'm gonna use my beloved Too Faced Sweet Peach palette because you guys know how much I love these shades. Oops, I definitely just stuck a finger in one of them. And I think they go really, really perfectly well with a bronzy makeup look. The colours I am going to use are caramelised first all over the lid. At this point I'm just kind of packing the colour on because we're going to blend it anyway. Looks kind of terrifying. I'm going to take the shade Luscious, which is this one, and I'm going to go in the inner corner. Now I'm going to take a smaller brush, and this is a clover one again, and I'm going to just put a little bit of the Luscious in the inner corners of the eyes. And then using the same brush, I'm going to go in with Caramelised, and I'm going to pop that on the um, outer half of the bottom lash line. And then using a Sigma Blending E25, I'm going to go in with the Charmed I'm Sure Matte Brown. Gonna do my eyebrows. I'm going to use these two shades combined because I've just had them tinted so they're slightly darker than normal. But the only annoying thing is I don't know what the shades are. Oh. Bear with, bear with. The slightly darker one is Mystery, and this one is Charcoal Brown. Uh, FYI, tint your eyebrows. It's just the best thing ever. It's so great. <laughs> just makes life so much easier. Makes eyebrows so much easier. Maybe not life, eyebrows. I'm just using a MAC 266 to pop that in my brows. One. Look at the difference in my eyebrows right now. <laughs> I always think eyebrows look so scary before you've done anything else. Okay, they look quite dark actually. What have I done? I'm gonna use a little bit of Ready Set Brow. Maybe I should have done my brows first. Let's just comb some of that powder out. You know guys, sometimes your brow game is a lot stronger in terms of colour, not in terms of, you know, brow game strong, you know? Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean. They're quite dark. Are they? <laughs> I can't fuck <laughs> I think I need to just put my mascara on and then I can make that decision. Okay, so mascara, I'm using the Smashbox Indecent Exposure, um, which I am obsessed with at the moment because it's beautiful and makes your eyelashes beautiful. If you don't like thick mascaras, you probably won't like this, but I love thick mascaras. I love when they're a little bit gloopy. Oh God, I don't love when I drop some on my lower lash line and smudges into everything I've already done. Look at the difference in my eyelashes right now. Is this too close? Most probably. <laughs> Slightly verging on clumpy eyelashes are my fave. And I'm gonna use a little bit of Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara because it is the only thing that I can put on my bottom lashes that doesn't end up down my face half halfway through the day. I'm holding my breath. <sighs> Ooh, come back into focus. I'm gonna use a little bit of the Benefit High Brow Glow under my eyebrows. I'm just gonna draw that on. Mm. 
Pencils like this, after you've had your brows done, are like lifesavers because they just look so good. I'm just gonna blend that a little bit with my finger just because it's quite, it's quite harsh right now. Do you know what guys? After doing my eyes, I feel like we could put a little bit more bronzer on. You know, this is a bronze look after all, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit more bronzer. Bronzed to the hills to the highs, bronzed, really bronzed. <laughs> and because this look is really bronzy and the eyes are really bronzy, I wanna keep the lips quite neutral, so I'm going for a nude. Lip liner, I'm gonna use the Barry M Lip Liner in the color 17, color 17. My mirror's really far away from me right now and I'm just thinking that's probably not the best idea when doing lip liner. <laughs> Probably should have put some um, lip, lip on. I would completely just wear this on its own. However, I'm gonna put a little bit of this over the top, which is the NYX Liquid Suede in the color Sandstorm. And every time I wear this, you guys are like, what are you wearing on your lips? It's mostly this. Let's just let that dry. It dries like a matte and it's so pretty. Right now it's still quite liquidy. Okay, so that is the finished look. I am quite obsessed with this. I know that for the continuation of summer, I am gonna be bronzing up. I just love this bronzer. I think this is, I mean, this is what made the look to be honest. And if there was a time where you can overdo the bronzer, it is for sure summertime. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. Um, if you did, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and also leave suggestions for any other makeup looks you've either seen me wear or you think I should try. I hope you have had a really lovely week and I will see you again very soon. Bye!